MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is um, business operations. Uh, 50 mistakes restaurant owners make. I have a great website called 50mistakes.com. That's how you can find it. And it's the uh, top mistakes that I've seen myself make and other restaurant owners make. And here's one of the biggest mistakes um, I didn't touch upon in my original 50 is getting employees involved. You know, a lot of us like to keep things secret to our employees, like our food costs, our labor costs, and, and, and sales, and certain expenses, and you know, the employees never really know what is going on. They never know what sales are for the night or for the week. They don't even know their average, which is a terrible thing. If employees don't know the numbers, they can't help manage the numbers. Just like a lot of restaurant owners I know don't know their numbers, so they can't even manage their numbers. What you can, what you measure, you can manage. So one of the first exercises I do with all my new staff is I take a hundred pennies, I put them on a table, and I say, okay, for every dollar that a customer gives us that goes into the register, how much do Jamie and Marcus actually put in their pocket as profit to make a living, to be able to to afford the things for my family, for my kids, to be able to pay my car payment. I said, how much do you think actually goes into my pocket? And it's shocking because out of that dollar, an employee that doesn't know, that's been worked at a restaurant for years and years and years, that doesn't know anything about any of this kind of stuff, will say, you know, 30 cents, 40 cents, 25 cents. And you're just like, they think, our employees think that we're raking it in and that we're this, this, this restaurant's a huge cash cow, and they don't understand paying bills, and when there's low cash flow, how there's just not money to pay bills. So this exercise is extremely important because I teach them at maybe five cents if we're lucky, five cents up to 10 cents if we're on a super, super, super tight ship is actually profit, you know? So if we're doing a million dollars a year, that's $100,000 between my wife and I, which isn't a lot of money to be able to raise a family, have a house, have a car, and this kind of stuff. So, you know, so it's a very important exercise. Now, because I teach my staff this, my ratio is a little bit better, but for the average restaurateur, you know, if they can bring in 5%, they're just like, oh my gosh, you know? Most of them are losing 5% or 10%. You know, you see all these restaurant shows, these these restaurant makeovers and, and, and uh, these people are bleeding money left and right, and the employees have no clue. So that's the first exercise to do. The second thing I do is I run a labor report every single week, and I post it in the kitchen. All of my staff knows what labor is for that week. They know what sales are. They know what labor is. They know what overall payroll is, and they know what the percentage is. They can look in and say, oh, wow, labor this week was 29%. For the month, it's 31%, because we had a bad month. We had a bad week in here. Maybe it was 37% this week. So they can see a rolling and a final thing on the bottom that helps them. My kitchen staff is responsible for food costs. They're responsible and they get paid bonuses based upon food costs coming in at a certain number. Now they have parameters. So, you know, I am the one who specs the food out so they can't buy cheaper food. Okay, that's not the idea of this. The idea of this is so they don't waste food that's sitting around. If we do a special wine dinner or beer dinner and there's, you know, a pound of chorizo left, they're going to go now make a special with that chorizo instead of it sitting let it going instead of let it instead of letting it, letting it sit in the cooler and go bad. They're going to now come up with a special where they can make you know eleven dollars times four orders. So they're going to bring in forty four bucks as opposed to throwing out that money. So that's where my staff becomes very creative because they know they're responsible for food costs and they get paid more if food cost comes in at a, at a good percentage. And they're involved in that. So they're involved with reporting the numbers back to me at a certain time. They have to have a certain time frame where their numbers have to be reported back and help me get the numbers into the computer. So I have somebody who's taken the responsibility of that on. So um, it's really important to get your staff involved. So another great exercise I do for getting my staff involved is at the end of the night we have a reservation book, most restaurants do, and we have a little log in there. So they have to record, you know, if, if there are any complaints, um, if there are any VIPs or people that we knew that were in, and they have to write all the stuff in the book if anybody went home early, if anybody hurt themselves, um, what the weather was outside, all that kind of stuff, and who actually worked the night, who started the shift, who ends the shift. It's a little log, you know, just so when I can come in the next day, I can look at the book, open it up, and say, okay, da 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 perfect. 
Now what they also have to do in that log is they have to put the overall gross sales, not including tax, but the overall sales for the night and figure out how many people we served, go on the computer, figure out how many people we served, do a headcount, and then do an average so they know what the per person average was that night. So they'll know, okay, we did $5,000 and we did 100 people, 120 people, 80 people. Then they figure out that average. So they know we have a $38 per person average, a $43 per person average, and they can monitor that for the court of the whole restaurant that night. So now they can see, oh wow, hey, we did five grand tonight. That's a great number. We only did, you know, 2,200. Wow, for a Friday night, 2,200 is not that good. So they can kind of gauge that and see that. So, you know, my philosophy is get your get your employees involved in your numbers. Um, you know, don't show them your profit and loss. I'm not saying go that far. And don't take them to your account to you know to say, hey, we made this kind of money. But let them know that hey, we have ex we have real hard expenses, and our biggest expenses are our labor and our food, and especially labor. And let's get them involved in making some changes and helping you obtain better numbers by getting them involved. I know a lot of restaurant owners that are totally for this, and it totally works for them. For restaurant owners that don't do this, they're very hesitant when I talk to them about this. They're like, well, I would never share my numbers with my staff. Nobody, it's a secret what I do and this and that. But the restaurant owners who do share their numbers with their staff, that I'm my, my friends, they are very, very happy with how they with what they do with their staff and getting their staff involved. So, you know, get your staff involved. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you like this video, please uh, hit like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, pass this video on and definitely if you're a restaurant owner or a business owner get on to 50mistakes.com there's tons and tons of quick three-minute videos there that uh, are all, it's all stuff like this thanks for watching